What up everybody? My name is Stanley Steen from Team Debru and today we are going to make yet another campaign using ad cash, but we are going to make a new one. So let's dive in. All right, so I am inside of ad cash where we are going to create yet another campaign. <clears throat> but first, let me tell you that you can still apply for the Debru suite to get you some free software while we're in the beta test. So sign up using the link below. I'll drop in the description and make use of the Debru suite for free temporarily. So be quick. All right, so we are going to make yet another campaign and we are going to obviously press uh, create a campaign and then we are going to make a advanced campaign so that we have some more control over targeting our audience that we want to reach. We've got to name our campaign so you would probably put the name of your offer here and whatever else you want in there just so that you can recognize it and know what it's about. Then we go into the device type tra uh, targeting so do we want to target on desktop or on mobile devices? Let's go with all desktop devices. So we are going to target console as well for this one. And then the geo targeting. So what countries do you want to run this ad in? I want to run this ad in Mexico. There we go. And let's get another country in because why not? Let's get another Spanish speaking country. So Argentina. Um, let's see. No matches found. There we go. Argentina. Very nice. Let's press next. So the potential daily impressions right now is about half a million, but we are going to make a native campaign this time. So I'm gonna deselect, pop under, display, push and interstitial. There we go. So that we just have native supply sources selected. And then the user interest. So what does the user need to be interested in to see our ads? And this obviously depends on the vertical you're in, on the offer that you're promoting. If you are promoting a beauty and fitness offer, for example, you would probably want to unselect all and select beauty and fitness. Or if you want to be more specific, choose the sub vertical or sub interest that you want to focus on. So maybe I want to do food and drink as well and maybe something like weight loss if that's there. Diet, let's see, health, it's perfect. So within health, let's see, do we have some more specific? No, health is fine, these are all fine, cool. So that gives us a potential daily impressions of 6,000 and that might be too specific. So maybe we want some more interests in here. Let's see. So let's say I want people interested in science within that as well. What does that leave us? 6,000 shopping. People and society is pretty, pretty broad. And home and garden, sure. Hobbies and leisure, because who doesn't like hobbies? So that doesn't get us a whole lot, six and a half thousand. So maybe, you know what? Maybe I am not gonna target on interest for this one. Then we have a potential daily impressions of 60 and a half thousand. So then we have device targeting. You can target on specific devices, for example, an operation system name or a version, if you want to be more specific, a browser name or version and language. So language is a pretty uh, interesting one. So maybe I just want to target on 
people with the browser language language set on Spanish. Well, that's Castellan, so Argentina. No matches, Mexican, no matches. So this is Castilian Spanish, but that's fine. Um, and maybe we want English as well. English is, is broad, right? It's a world language. So even if you are targeting your campaign in Mexico and Argentina, there will still be quite some people who have their browser set to English, even though they speak Spanish. So I am going to target these two languages. Now, if somebody is in Mexico or in Argentina, but has their browser language set on Portuguese, because maybe they're from Brazil or something, then I don't want to target them because I'm going to make my ads in Spanish so they won't connect with it unless they speak Spanish as well. But let's go with the chances that they do not speak Spanish. So then this will basically filter them out. Okay, I'm going to apply the targeting rule. And there we go. Awesome. And we can do the same for content. So domain, URL keywords, website category, zone list, traffic restrictions, etc. And also connection types. So do you want Wi Fi or mobile, uh, mobile carriers, whatever, but I'm not going to target on those right now. So let's press next and we are going to run native today. So then we want to put in our URL. So put your URL, well, no spaces, put your URL here, dot com, whatever. And then we want a image and a title and we could even put in a brand name. So let's start with the image 600 by 500. I am not going to create the full creatives right now. I'm just going to show you how to set up your campaign. Uh, technical wise, so regarding tar targeting and uh, stuff like that. So let's just get a image in. I don't really care what it is. There we go. Featured by Canva. Perfect. Doesn't make it bigger. Well, I don't really care to be honest if it makes it bigger or not. There we go. And let's download that just so that we have an example to show. Okay, I'm gonna drop it in. And then, whoops, web native image, square ratio, rectangle. So basically you can choose what kind of ratio you want, right? So which of these ratios, if they are available as impressions, do you want to run? Basically, this is another filter of like, okay, if we have a square ad where you can have your impression, do you want to run it? If you don't deselect, if you do select, etc. for all these. So let's upload it. There we go. And then we have to come up with a title for faces make conversions like maniacs. And then we have the brand for faces. Right. So here you would basically create your creatives. You can save it. And as soon as you've done so, you can make yet another one to get you some multiple creatives and to basically split test your creatives to see what's working and what's um, basically reaching your audience. Right. What is working? What is not working? What kind of headlines are you working? What kind of images are working? And basically, you can optimize on that. Okay, now we go into the budget. So the weekly distribution, do you want it to be 24 seven? Or do you want to run custom times and custom days? I like to start with 24 seven and I can always optimize on that later. The total campaign budget. So what is your budget for this campaign? And what is your scheduling? When do you want to start? When do you want to stop? The scheduling is optional and and optional, I'm sorry, and I am not going to use it right now, because I like to see some results before I decide when is the end date of my campaign. So you know what, for this time, I am going to run with a campaign budget of, let's say 4000 euros. <clears throat> Alright, so when it hits 4000 euros, it will automatically 
shut off the campaign or at least stop spending unless I tell it to do something else. We are going to run this with the CPM, costs per mile, cost per thousand impressions. The frequency capping I want to be, let's say two impressions every 24 hours. And I'm gonna apply that to device this time. So meaning that if you have two devices in one IP address, you could see my ad four times a day, two per device instead of two per ID address, IP address. All right, so right here we have the available selection, Mexico and Argentina, that's fine. The average bid is two cents, so I want to be on top of that with three cents, 50% increase. I'm gonna save the payout and there it is, awesome. Then we have cappings, the daily budget. So how much do I want to spend as a maximum per day on this campaign? Let's say, so we have 4,000 for the full campaign. If I wanna test this in, let's say 10 days, that's pretty quick. I don't know if it's gonna be available with this amount of impressions available, but let's try. 400 euros a day, spread throughout the day, save capping. There we go, it's saved. And we press next and now we get an overview of our settings so that you can check if everything is set up correctly. That's gonna be it for this one. Don't forget to sign in for the Debru Suite beta test all for free with some software you can use. And also keep following this playlist because there's still more to come. It's gonna be it for this one. I'll catch you later. Peace out.